This will go on YouTube as heretics. I just want to wait for a second. Can you establish your argument? Why is the church? I'm not establishing an argument. I'm going to tell you what Tyndale translated before the church killed him. Can I say something to that? Can I respond to that? All, all, all due respect. All due I'm respect. not interested in having an argument. No, no, I'm not arguing. We have, you're, I'm you're trying on. to understand where you're coming from. But well, you're, you're not saying, listening to me. I am. You're saying the you church. You off when I was trying You're to saying that the church is not the God. How do you square that circle? Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, <coughs> but citizens with the saints. So he's saying that the Gentiles, the Romans, and the Greek slaves who are getting saved were citizens with the saints and of the household of God as the Jewish believers who were in Jerusalem and in Israel. So Paul and Barnabas went out to the Gentiles. Yes, I agree. This was their mission. I agree. The, 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 the disciples didn't do it. Jesus told them, we don't know what happened to the other disciples. But Peter, Peter and the others stayed fast in Jerusalem. No, Peter went to Rome. He died in Rome. And was, well, at this point, at this point in the narrative, Paul and Barnabas have gone to Antioch, and in Antioch they were they were thrown out of the synagogue, and they said, henceforth we will go to the Gentiles. So Gentiles got saved in Antioch. So the first Greeks and Romans believed, and you had the first Jewish Gentile church in Antioch. From there, Jewish Gentile what? Church. 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 Congregation. You just said church is not from God. Right, I'm going to explain why the church is not from God. That was a congregation that was from God. What right? does congregation mean? It means ecclesia. What does church mean? That's what is ecclesia. What is ecclesia means called out. What is ecclesia? And which is that? The church, yes? No, church is, is from the old, not a um, uh, Teutonic word, Kirk, which is to do with the circle. Church is pagan. Church means assembly or congregation. No, that's what congregation means. That's what Ecclesia means. Church is congregation. So in, 16, in 1610, when they translated the King James Version, after they destroyed all the Tyndale versions, and they destroyed Tyndale because he said congregation, not church. That's why they killed him. That's why they burnt all his Bibles. Because he said, it's when a group of, and he didn't say the gathering together of the people. He said, do not forsake the fellowship you have amongst yourselves. So he was addressing an informal groups of Bible studies that were taking place in homes in Kent and in Essex. Those Bible studies were rounded up by Archbishop Cranmer, the great hero of the church, and they were interrogated, tortured, and burned at the stake, including Joan of Kent. Can I say something? Okay, so the man, what's your name? Richard. 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 Okay, Richard's argument is the church is not from God. And I, I'm asking him, how does he square that circle? Because Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, and I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. So he's saying that the church is not from God, and Christ is the one saying that I will build my church. So if the church is not from God, and Christ sets up the church, his logical conclusion, if he should follow that line of reasoning, is Christ is not from God. So unfortunately, you're, you're, you're dealing with heresy. Oh, here we go. There's the H word. So they, they, bring, the they bring out heresy as quickly as they can, Christ get you labelled, and then everyone backs off. Christ oh, set up a church, yes or no? I've just read you, Christ set up a church, you're saying the church is not from God, so therefore Christ is not from God. Well, answer the question. Answer the question. It's a straightforward, simple question. Thou, thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Happy art thou, Simon, the son of Jonas, for flesh and blood have not opened unto that, thee unto that, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build thy congregation, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the original translation in English said congregation, not church. So what they did was they got all the Tyndale Bibles, they burnt them, they then got Tyndale, they burnt him, and they've never printed a Tyndale Bible since. So you've got Tyndale House in America, doesn't print a Tyndale Bible. 
you've got Tyndale House in England from basis of the Trinitarian Bible Society doesn't print a Tyndale Bible. Instead, King James, when he brought all the people who printed, who, who um, wrote the Bishop's Bible and the Geneva Bible, brought them together in his church, the Church of England, he said every time you translate the word Ecclesia, you must translate it as church. Okay, now he's dealing with the Tyndale translation, which come before the King James, it's a very old translation, and the reason why they don't continue to uh, make the Tyndale translation is because we now use modern English. We're not gonna, that language is actually older than the King James. Now he said that the that language, language in Tyndale said, is an ordinary people's you. language. I did not interrupt you. You did. No, no, he just said, Ordinary people's language. Richard, Tyndale says Richard, love. Richard, he doesn't say charity. Richard, Richard. Now, he just made the point That's that in, in, in that Matthew 16 verse 18, it doesn't say church. I can show you the Greek on my phone. Look at that word there. And on this rock, I will build my church. I have the Greek on my phone. Please. The word to use there is church. Yes, it means church. Please. Now, I'm a asking, church no, no, no. is a circle. Richard, Richard, I'm it's a you. pagan word. Richard, I'm asking you, if you are saying the church is not from God, then why did Christ say, I will set up my church? Why did Paul, in, why did Paul in his epistles write to establish churches? The church of the Ephesians, the Galatian church, the Philippian church, the Corinthian church. Why, why did he, why did he persecute his spirit? So if by your own reasoning, the church is not from God, Christ sets up the church, the apostle points out founded churches and hopeful churches, by your own logic, Christ and Paul are not from God, you can your heritage. Oh, yes, he's a heretic. Yes. We've won. You, are. you have the spirit of the church, the spirit of persecution. You are a hater of Christ and his followers. You are a Pharisee. Jesus cursed the Pharisees. John the Baptist said, ye den of vipers, who has told you to flee from the vengeance to come. You are of that. You align yourself with Bob the Builder and the whole line of church persecution for hundreds of years. The church that persecuted ordinary Christians who read the Tyndale Bible and were hanged at this over there at Tyburn. They were hanged by the church. The ordinary Christians in Kent and Essex who read the Tyndale Bible who were burned at Smithfield like Joan of Kent. Okay, okay, she was interrogated okay. by Archbishop Cranmer. Okay. That's the spirit of the church, okay, the spirit of persecution, the spirit of hatred, the spirit of calling people heresy. Tyndale did not use the word heresy. He said causes of divisions. King James uses the word heresy because the church is about finding and killing heretics. It's about controlling people so that they do not budge from their orthodox doctrine. Okay. It's about control. Okay. And he is under the spirit of control okay. and he's manifesting the spirit of control. So does Sokot Films, so does Bob the Builder. Okay. It's all about controlling Christians so that they believe the narrative, they believe the orthodoxy, they conform to the church, the established church that persecutes those who do not conform, persecutes the non-conformists, persecuted Jesus himself and burnt him. Okay, now notice his authority, his authority, his authority is an English man called Tyndale who translated the Bible. That's his authority. My authority is the ones from whom the Bible came from, Christ and the church. For example, it says Christ set up a church. He said the church is, is not of God. The church, if I ask you this, Richard, was the early church a church? Did the early church believe as you did about the church, yes or no? Yes. They did. They believed as you did. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. No, you can't prove it from the Tyndale Bible. Prove it. Prove Richard, it. Prove, prove, it. prove it. The spirit of these Christians. Prove, prove, prove it from Hate church it. history. Did the early church believe as you did? Yes. Was they part of a church? They were part of a congregation. Was they part of the they church? They met in home. Was they part of the church? church? Anger, hatred. Okay. Anger, so Richard, hatred. Richard, no, 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 no. Heretic followers. That's what you have. Did multiple the spirit churches, of hatred. Did multiple churches come together? I stand together. against your spirit. Thank you very much. In did, Jesus' did, name. Did the early churches come together at ecumenical councils to, dis to discuss church doctrine? Yes or no? That was the church of Satan. The, the churches. The, church, the Council of Nicaea, the Council of Constantinople, that was the state working together with the church to annihilate ordinary have believers. You, have you read the canons of Nicaea? Systematically annihilated ordinary believers. Have you read the canons of Nicaea? The Bogomils, the Cathars, 
the Waldensians, the Albigensians, they were systematically massacred by the church, his church, his church, his church. They are persecutors, they are haters, they are killers of God's people. They've done it for centuries. I rebuke your church. Have you read the canons of Nicaea? You haven't read the canons of Nicaea? Are they you? Yeah, he knows what Nicaea is all about. I've read what Nicaea is How many canons are in Nicaea? How many cannons are there? How many cannons are there? Look at this anger How many cannons? How many cannons? How many Okay, see he doesn't even know how many cannons are in Nicaea. He doesn't know anything about Nicaea, yet he wants to debate about Nicaea. I rebuke your spirit in Jesus' name. Right, and they continued daily with one accord in the temple, and they break bread in every house. They ate their meat together with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and had favor with all people. And the Lord added to the congregation daily them that should be saved. That same hatred that burned Tyndale, the same hatred that burned all his Bibles, the same hatred that makes sure the Tyndale Bible is never printed today, except in the, in the British Museum by secular people, is the spirit of their church, is the spirit of soccer films, is the spirit of Bob the Builder, and all the people who write things there, who say, Bob the Builder, you should have punched him, oh, and calling me all, all sorts of abusive names, because they love hate. They have not the spirit of Christ, they have the spirit of the world, they have the spirit that is from beneath. Jesus had a spirit of peace. Bob the Builder said that Jesus was used violence. That's because his church, his Jesus, uses violence. He's a false Jesus, an imposter Jesus. The true Jesus was a man of peace. He did not, he said, resist not evil. He stood and allowed them to, to crucify okay, okay. him. He was a peaceful man, okay, let me a gentle man, let me who resisted not Richard, evil. Let me respond. These are, have resistance, and they have the anger, one. they have violence. Richard, they have a different spirit. Now, now notice, not from God. now notice what he said. He's talking about Nicaea. I ask him, have you read the canons of Nicaea? How many canons are in Nicaea? He can't tell me. But yeah, he wants to debate about Nicaea. That's not a waffle. Now, he just said, the church is not of God. Let me just refer to the Apostle Paul's words in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2. To the church of God. He says the church is not of God. Paul says to the church of God. Paul says this a multiple amount of times, writing to certain churches. The Apostle Paul said the church was of God. You're saying the church is not of God. Now who should we align ourselves with? The Apostle Paul, Jesus Christ, the early church that was a church, or heretic at Speaker's Corner. You can't answer simple questions. The back's my original point. How many oh, cannons? How many cannons? How many cannons were in Nicaea? Eight. How all many you have, all you have your cannons? spirit, all you have to give is hate. You can't answer That's all you have. I'm going to answer your how, question. What, by going to the Tyndale Bible? Yes. How many cannons? You're going to answer how many cannons you are in Nicaea from the Tyndale Bible. You're a hater. You're a joke. So you're going to have no. Paul, by vocation, so he's going to answer answer Jesus Christ how many cannons through the will of God Nicaea and Brother Sosthenes from the Tyndale Bible. Unto the congregation of God, which is at Corinthia. Our forebears were burned at the stake by the church. The true followers of Jesus were burnt in their hundreds. They were called heretics. The Waldensians were called heretics. The Albigensians were called heretics. The Cathars were called heretics. The Bogomils were called heretics. They were rounded up by the Holy Roman Empire and by the British um, authorities and they were burned at the stake by the church. The Catholic Church, they were hanged by the Church of England. They were burned by the Lutheran Church. And these people today, if they could, they would burn them. Tyndale never uses the word heresy. He says causes of division. People who want to fill their own bellies because they have a selfish agenda. These people have a selfish agenda. They want to get likes on YouTube. I don't have a YouTube channel. I don't want likes. I come here to share my faith with other people, especially with Muslims. That's what I come to do, because God calls me. I come here to share my faith out of love, because God has shown love to me, I show love to others. They have a selfish, self-satisfying agenda, self-serving agenda. Sokol Films and Bob the Builder, and this is his sidekick.
Okay, I'm not Bob's sidekick for starters, you know, that's a load of rubbish. That's, it's just attacking me as a person rather than dealing with the arguments. Once again, I apologize for that. Thank you. That was Judge Holland. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's what Bob the Builder does. Okay, I don't He's care. straight away you to listen, listen, listen on me. You're not debating Bob, you're debating me. I don't care what Bob says, you're talking to me. Stop bringing up Bob. Anyway, as I'm saying, he want, I'll go back to my original point. Did Paul write to a church, yes or no? Did Paul use the words to the church of God? No. Yes or no? He said to the congregation of God. What's a congregation? A, a church. congregation is an ecclesia, which means a called out group of people who meet in Which homes. is the church. As, who as, meet in as, homes. as Paul said. Not, okay. in, you not said, in a big okay. building where they bow down to a pastor or bow down to a vicar or bow down to a priest. They meet in a home and they worship God in simplicity. That's what the original believers did. They met in homes. There's even a Greek word that says from home to home. They translated it from home to home and it means to go into homes in order to worship. That's what the word means because they met in homes. I met in my home with my family to worship Jesus Christ. People met in Kent in the 1500s to worship Christ. The church sent Cranmer to to round them up, they took them, interrogated them, and they burned them at the stake. Joan of Kent was interrogated by Cranmer himself and burnt at the stake. Okay. okay, he just said the church is the ones who are called. I agree. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, to, to uh, who saved us and called us by a holy calling. So by your own definition, the church are the called ones. The called ones are the church. Christ set up the church. Paul wrote to a church. So why do you have a problem with the church? You want to debate about Nicaea. You want to debate about the early church. You can't, talk, you can't tell me how many canons were at Nicaea, so don't bring up Nicaea. You haven't read Nicaea, so don't debate Nicaea. You just said all, all these things are made up in Nicaea, whichever you said. You haven't even read the canons of Nicaea. If I ask you how many canons were in Nicaea, you can't tell me. You said the church is not of God. I've shown you, Paul said, to the church of God. So what's your problem with the church? Paul, the, the, the Jesus Christ said in Matthew, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, upon this rock I will build my church. You said the church is not of God. The Apostle Paul set up churches. Jesus built his church. So by your own logic, Jesus and the Apostle Paul are not of God, rendering you a heretic. Amen. 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 Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Let's build the fire now and burn me because I want to be burnt by him and him. I, will, I want to Don't give my spirit to God, burnt right, by right, these right. Pharisees. Pharisees who say you have no answer. That's Pharisees who are full of hate. You don't have an answer. I do have an answer. Deal with the when Augustine... Did Jesus set up no, a church? No, just be quiet. Be quiet. And answer my point. Augustine set up a state church I'm system. He I'm set up a church, state church system so that they would round up all the people who were worshipping Christ informally in homes. Once he'd established that church, they then increased the power of the popes. The popes gradually got more and more, more power until they, they took, they couldn't appoint local priests anymore. They had to be appointed by um, the Pope centrally. That was whatever, 1047. Once they got complete control of Europe through the Catholic Church, they could then start picking off the individual believers who were following the, the word of God. They were following it in a humble, simple way, worshipping in homes, worshipping without a priesthood, without, uh, without a laity and a clergy, just ordinary people meeting in their homes. They began to systematically eradicate those people. They destroyed the Cathars, they destroyed the Bogomils, they went to Ireland, they eradicated the ordinary people who were worshipping there through Patrick, they eradicated the Waldensians, the Albigensians, until they got a, a European church that was then taken to South America, was then taken to the rest of the world through the Lutheran church and the Anglican church. They then spread their church to continue their persecution of ordinary builders okay, across okay, the Richard, world. Let me speak. Okay, going back to my the word point. is congregation. Okay, now let's go back to my original point. At the beginning, he's ultimately using Tyndale's translation of the Bible 
to prove that the church is not from God. Now, ironically, Tyndale was part of a church, so even Tyndale himself refused. He was killed even by the Tind church. Okay, even Tyndale himself. He refused to Tind use the, the word church. The man you use, listen to you. Listen the to man you me. use as an authority would actually, if he was here today, would disagree with you. No, Tyndale, he Tyndale was Tyndale part of a church? No, don't let him interrupt. Tyndale, no, he wasn't Tyndale, Tyndale was part of a church. He was part Tyndale, of a group of Tyndale, Tyndale, Richard, 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 Tyndale was part of a church. Now he ultimately just made the argument that the early church there were no elders, there were no deacons, there was nothing like this. Have you read uh, Tim have you read the epistle to Timothy where there is a qualification of elders? So yes, there were qualifications for elders, there were priests, there were pastors, there were deacons, there were deaconesses, all of these were set up within the church. Now he's saying, I'm over here, I'm gonna judge the church by what I believe to be Tyndale standard. Now ironically Tyndale was part of the church. Now again, I want to I want to hit you with my other point. Hit because because you just said with my point, if you listen, with my point. Okay, you brought up Nicaea as if the church was all founded by the by the emperor at Nicaea and all of this nonsense. There are quotes. Nonsense, there, are, nonsense. there are quotes prior. Satanically there are, inspired there are quotes, there are quotes prior. There are quotes prior to Nicaea, which talk about the church, Irenaeus, uh, you know, some, Clement, some, uh, Clement Ignatius, uh, all, all these other early church figures. The Bible talks about the church for starters. You're saying this was all made up. Historically, you are in error. Was made you, uh, you are in error. Historically. In error. What am I in error? And, and let's bear in mind. No, hang on. Let's what am I in error? I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I don't want let's, all the, let's bear this in mind. Let's bear this Where in mind. Am I in error? Let's bear this in mind. The Council of Nicaea was in 325 AD. Amen. The Council of Nicaea was not about setting up a church. It was a meeting of bishops from various churches. I believe there was uh, over a thousand who were actually invited. But I think just over 300 actually showed up. Amen. That was to debate the Arian heresy, Amen. which bearing in mind this man holds to. So, yes you do. Yes you do, you're, you're, you're an Arian heretic. Now, his ar ar argument is that Nicaea set up the church. No, it didn't. A Nicaea was a Where gathering did Where did those bishops come from? all over the place. Nicaea was a gathering of bishops from already existing churches to deal with a heresy. It, was, geez, it wasn't to deal with making the church, it was to deal with heretics. Is this about Jesus? It was to deal with heretics. Is this about you? It was to deal with heretics. It was to deal with heretics such as yourself. It was to deal. What was Nicaea about? Is this your ego? What was Nicaea about? Right, Nicaea. Nicaea was about dealing with heretics such as him. How many? How many cannons? Mr. Ego shouts me down. Wrap up. You finished now. So Nicaea. Yeah, wrap up before he can speak. Yeah, wrap up before he can speak. Right. So in the Council of Nicaea, there are actually three opinions. There was Arianism, there was Trinitarianism, and there was Sabellianism. But they eradicated Sabellianism from church history. So he didn't mention it because he believes church history. After they'd eradicated it from church history, they got all Sabellius's writings and they destroyed them. That's why you don't read about Sabellius. There was a third opinion that didn't believe in the Trinity. So as soon as you say you don't believe in the Trinity, they do what he does and they jump on the fact, oh, you're an Arian and you're a heretic, you're scum. So that's what he just did to me. I'm not an Aryan, I'm not a heretic, and I'm not scum either. I believe that there is one God, I believe in the oneness of God. Now the Nicene Council was set up to destroy that simple belief that was held by the Bogomils, was held by the Cathars, it was held by the early Christians in Ireland. Pa um, Patrick was sent to Ireland to eradicate that simple belief in the oneness of God. The Bogomils were eradicated by the Holy Roman Empire to get rid of that teaching of the oneness of God. And now they've destroyed it, so he doesn't even know that there's such a thing as Sabellianism and that it existed in the Council of Nicaea. Instead, he tells me I know nothing about the Council of Nicaea okay, okay. because of his arrogance and because of his hatred and because of the spirit behind him. Okay. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Okay, so he got that bit off. No, we can keep that on there. It's fine. Well, do a wrap up? That, that, oh, that was his wrap up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, he, he made an error saying that I don't know about Sabellianism. I didn't know that existed. I can probably name more Christological heresies than he's ever heard of. It's a load of nonsense. I studied the early church. I know about the early Christological heresies modalism, uh, Sabellianism, Arianism, Nestorianism. He's in error. For one, the, the, can the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD was not about formulating the Trinity, it was about the discussion on the person of Christ. For example, Arius ultimately held to the view, like the Jehovah's Witnesses do, Jesus was a created being and not equal of essence with God as such. Now they came to refute that. It got so hectic in that debate, Saint Nicholas, who would get to know Saint Nick Father Christmas, Saint Nicholas was so offended by this heresy that this man just spouted, he walked up and he slapped a heretic across the face. Now I'm not saying we should go about belting heretics, but it was that much of a heated debate. Now, so he's wrong in that regard. He says that the church is not of God. When Paul says, to the church of God, 
Therefore, he would have to say, Paul is not of God. When Jesus says, upon this rock, Peter, I will build my church, yeah. he would also have to say, Christ is not of God. Because Christ and Paul were there to, uh, Christ founded the church, Paul went about found, uh, establishing churches in various reasons. So all due respect to Richard, he seems like a passionate man, but his passion is misguided, and he doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. Thank you, thank you, man. Praise the Lord.